Let's start our spying. What do you want, boy? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Hmm. Ask around a Kaluga Hall or Kaluga Hall to find out more about the Greys. Hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay. Okay, fella. Why Bo? What does Bo know? What doesn't Bo know? Where is Bo? Bo! Look at him. Probably documenting everybody's life in that little book. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? <laughs> Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> Are you secretly is, normal? I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's Oh, impossible. we've got a little Romeo and Juliet situation. Complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. How am I going to help? <laughs> Gang feuds it. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. Okay, I'm in. Grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Easy enough. In theory. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Okay, how far is this? Oh, it's a jaunt. So long and good luck. Uh, thanks. So we have to sneak in, no weapons. Jump it. Or we can just go right through it. It's fine. I think I could totally live in a place like this. Calm, serene, everyone's just chilling. Family feuds I could get involved in. Deliver letters for people. I could get behind this. Come on, Mr. Walker. Oh, nice one. They may not appreciate us running through the middle of their stuff. Oh. Okay, sneak past the guards. This might be tough. Especially considering we don't know where the guards are. 
Okay, there's one on the left there. Super sleuthing. <laughs> okay, I don't see any on the right. Let's see what this guy, where he's going. Turn around. There's nothing to see over here, buddy. Get. There you go. Oh, there's another one I see. I see. Is this... Oh, no, this isn't the gazebo. Of course, she has to... There has to be, like, a hundred gazebos. Like this. Look at this house. Oh. We're gonna go to the back of this gazebo. Hopefully that gives us a beeline to the next. How many gazebos they need? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. There's a few too many gazebos. Wait, is that a guy? I can't tell. Is that a guy standing there? Yeah, it is. Oh boy, I'm going for it. Please be the one. It is. Surprise. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because That's of the money. That's so depressing. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. <laughs> but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Is this all I am to you guys? Letter carrier? I wonder if I should try and get in that boat. Or if I just go back the way I came. I think maybe that's better. Don't look at me! Oh, he's not there anymore. I think we're clear? Ish. Come on.
Let's go, boy. Hey, don't make any noises, cows. Real subtle. Got it. Okay, we'll return the letter to Bo. That wasn't too bad. But that's what I'm drawing the line there. We're not no more no more letters for Bo. You want to talk to her, you man up and you go do that yourself. That wasn't so hard. There was only like three guards, really, from the angle we took. He can handle it. Coming in hot, Great boys. Family business. Coming through. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> I love that we can just go through their bushes. That's my boy. We're showing off a little bit, it's fine. Got my money. Sure. Did she give anything? She did. For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. What a woman. She's. This will get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. Uh oh. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry what? Penelope. But they're gonna. They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. You've already said that. Still haven't seen any cash. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. What have we gotten ourselves into? Twelve bucks he gave me. Your family's got money, he gave me twelve bucks. Go. go around the property and take the road to town. Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> These guys are going to see him taking off. Guess that's okay. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. <laughs> Thought we were talking to the horse. If she wants to rally. You gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Huh? Mostly my family. Oh, well. <laughs> Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. <laughs> Miss Calhoun. I can't we're in this. Miss Calhoun. Oh, we're My deep in now, too. My friend says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, 
Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Uh-huh. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. We're all dead. Mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the water. Take Singapore, us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. Come what was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Well, we won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. I hope so, because Dutch going to be pissed. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I just shall make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Sorry, fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! I can do that. Get down! Come on! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equals are fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Look at you. Yeah. Who's unnatural? Equal free just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers. Oh, get oh, fucked. Oh, uh, that mentality. I know it's old school, but come on. Hey. On it's 1899 or whatever. Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Oh boy. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got sir. anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always was. Bo, little... weren't we just leaving? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Oh, we're gonna throw Come down. On, Let's go. Quick now. We, we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. A land of equality. A land of progress. Looking good, Mr. Walker. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope <laughs> and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. Yeah, he, everybody knows. Sooner it's out, sooner it's resolved. Just sooner nobody's talking about dealt it. dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. Oh. She weren't right. 
meow. And Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Well, that's disappointing. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. I do. I believe well, that. stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna need it out here. I'm worried about Bo, let me tell you. I'm worried about him. Alright, man. Where do we want to head next? Um, Molly O'Shea's past Dutch. An honest mistake. We could head back in. Why don't we... Why don't we talk to her? Who else do we have here? Albert Mason, but it's quite a ways off. The Bounty in St. Denis. Gwyn Hughes, which is in the camp. Winton Holmes up in Strawberry. So those are a little ways out. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll head to uh, Molly. See what Molly's looking for. Uh, maybe we'll stop at the camp on the way. That makes more sense. Yeah. No reason to go right past it when we know that Dutch wants to chat. Ah. I feel like that's probably not the end of the bow situation, if I had to guess. But I'm, I'm hoping that it works out for him. He seems like a nice enough guy. It's just a typical Romeo and Juliet situation. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's why I was like, okay, this is our, this is our hideout. I, for some reason, I was looking at this as, this is, this is the camp, but this is not the camp. This is, in fact, uh, Dutch just hanging out here. So we're going to see, we'll do this collection, and then we'll talk to Dutch. One way of hitching a horse, yep. Knock knock. No? I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. Oh, he's making caskets. Start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. I think you've had enough time, buddy. That casket for you? But you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But um, uh, well uh. What? Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hear this toe, he's like, are you freaking kidding I mean, me? I'll get you your money, but, uh, <laughs> well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh, this, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. Wait. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. 
Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Oh, I wonder if it's um, digging up graves, because he would know who's buried with what, right? If he's the undertaker. Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. Under here. Yeah, see? I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, she cool. got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. All right, all right. Don't be shy, ain't no one around. Just my You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good Look, day now. I'm trying to be nice here. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on, I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Idiots. <laughs> Ma'am? Would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All right, then. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... Exhumation. Okay, I got it. I'm on patrol at the gate. Doing a good job guarding the gate so far. Oh, hold on. Incoming possible trespassers identified. 12 o'clock. Hello there, sir. Hey, I don't think uh, I'm sorry, this ain't happening. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time to. Right? The place was in need of some care and attention. All right, have a great day, ma'am. <laughs> oh, these guys, these troublemakers, I can tell already. My charm probably is not going to work. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Scram. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys going to need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're going to lick you. Oh, really? Oh, you really? I'm going to beat you, boy. In front of the church? Okay, got some skills. I'll give you that. Give me this hat. Uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. I don't think anyone's watching me. <laughs> guys mess with the wrong guard, let me tell you. Let's see this hat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, here's your payment. Jeez. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Clayton. Oh, my God. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. Looks like diamonds. You better learn to settle your debts other ways, kid. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Yeah, bye. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. 
Leave! <laughs> I want to see if there's more on the body. Is that bad? Oh god. Oh no. Alright, looks like that's it. Don't mind those two fellers at the gate there. Please, uh, I don't know how I feel right now. Yeah, I get it. I can scarcely believe it. Uh, actually, we do have some hides. Why don't I... I think we have, like, one hide, to be honest. Hello? You look hungry. I'm not really hungry. Wolf heart. It's a good deer pelt. Why not? Doing business with you. Let's see what he's selling. Basically, just meat. Meat from a bovine animal that can be used in cooking. I'm gonna eat well today. Yeah, absolutely. Come on. Thank you. We should actually take some time to upgrade our satchel. Uh, there's a few specific animals that we need in order to pull that off. Hello, mister. Yeah. Oh, damn fool. Uh, you all right there, boy? What's going on here? Whoa! What the? Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. What's he dressed this one as? This might take the prize. Wait, wait. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. What? He me chained to the goddamn foot. This is just like that one time we saw the back window? You gotta do something, please. He's never got I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Don't let me go. He asked us not to use weapons or cause trouble. Frick, Dutch. Frick. I'm gonna talk to Dutch. Gotta get me out I'll get I'll get you out of there, buddy. I'm gonna talk to Dutch and see if maybe he uh Maybe he'll loosen this restriction. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you uh -huh. doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. That's Bo's dad? There's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> I told you we was uh. moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Oh, that's legit. like us. We're bound to be more oh, this is good. in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. Oh, I like the sounds so of that. Set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, I, just, I hope we can help that guy that we saw. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Oh. 